Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to Avak and a Steel Joe in Reign of Kings. Uh, a Steel oh. Joe has left the prize. A Steel Joe has got himself a steel axe. Oh no! Oh yeah. no! He's going to do terrible things to people. I can to, see it happening now. To trees. Mm. So Steel Wood got his axe. <laughs> well, should we get rid of our old iron hatchets then? Should we just drop them on the floor? Um, possibly. I mean, I don't know what else. Useless, really. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, at least until something terrible happens and we need. I have no idea where those dropped, but I did drop them. <laughs> They're gone. Fantastic. Right. Okay. Well, we've got a little while left on the cooldown. We are slowly fortifying this area down here. I'm probably going to have, like, uh, I'm trying to think of the, the right way to describe it, but, like, pillars of logs pillars and of a stone tunnel? underneath. Well, no, but uh, <laughs> they won't be eternal pillars. Eventually, they will, they will, you know, succumb to the ravages of time. Or people. Or people. More than likely, the ravages of people, if I'm perfectly honest. But, uh, well. Basically, right. what I've done at the, at the lower level is I've made it um, completely solid stone around the right. perimeter. Okay. And then we'll clad it in wood. But I want people to see that there's stone there because right, okay. knowing that there's something they can't get through might dissuade them from even trying. If that makes yeah. sense. <clears throat> yeah. As funny as it is that... <laughs> like when you were spending all that time to try and break through that thing, and then you were like, "Ah, oh, damn it! They've actually put wood there." <laughs> yeah, there is a certain hilarity in imagining some scallywag being faced with that eventuality. But at the same time, I'd rather them not break my wooden walls. <laughs> yeah, but I need to get myself four hundred flax. Wow. Why? Yep. Mm, just no reason. Flatches? No, no. me silly. Hmm. Weaver? Be oh, so I can make myself a dapper as hell rug? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, right. well, come on. Siege works. Oh. That's boring. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> not for me. It's far more boring than having a dapper as hell rug. Just imagine I'm a it. Dapper as hell ballista in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, this steel axe so good. Harvesting all the wood. I wish I could get, like, a bucket to collect water. We should make a well. Why? Because that way you just need to shove charcoal in it, and then you come back and there's a load of water. We're right next to a pristine stream, Steejo. Yeah, but then I need to sit here Stop for ages being collecting it. lazy. <clears throat> My lord. <laughs> I have this perfectly serviceable stream right here, but I want a well. Well, if I could, like, tap the stream so it automatically does it for me, then perfect. <laughs> Why all this automation? Oh, you're surrounded by be the beauty of nature here. All you have to do is reach out and touch it, and you're like, no, I want machines. Machines <laughs> everywhere. I, I need robots to collect my water, please. <laughs> now that is actually quite a good idea. Um, I right, agree. Was, oh yes, I was going to go and collect flax. Unfortunately, the most efficient way of collecting flax is running around and picking it up. Huh. Uh, good times. I Nature know, is going to force you to uh, fondle her fondly, whether you like it or not. <laughs> uh. There we are. I've deforested some pretty large trees over there. Look, some more stones. Must collect all of the stones. We want stones for the um, for the kind of fortified flooring. Yeah. In this place, so if you see stones, do pick them up if you wouldn't uh, wouldn't mind. So you mean go and go to the nodes and harvest them? Well, I was thinking of going to the nodes and harvesting them myself, honestly. But then you were like, "Oh, I'm going to go off and collect flax." 
Yeah, well, that's actually the best place to collect flax as well. Oh, is it? Well, okay. Yeah. That's not too bad, then. Gonna make sense to go that way. <clears throat> oh, do you have any charcoal in your kiln? No, you don't. You're a bugger. Charcoal, now that charcoal is actually used a lot more and it generates slower, yeah. it is probably a good idea to pinch charcoal whenever I see it. Fair enough. I mean, I don't agree with pinching anything, but... <clears throat> If a steel Joe wants to pinch things, who am I to say no? <laughs> Chuckle's a byproduct. I think. Ah, uh, Agamemnon. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. I think that uh, getting some torches, like some sconces up, mm. and shoving wood in them just makes us one, they look cool. Two, they provide light, and three, we get charcoal. So I think that may be a good shout. I, I have no idea what's going on, but I was like listening to the sound of something going. I was like, that sounds like something swinging something. I turned around, and there's a bloody steel pickaxe just hovering there. I can hear it swinging. That's my steel pickaxe. You're swinging your pickaxe. I knew. Yeah. I thought it was. We're linked, Steejo. <laughs> Linked by a bond that transcends distance and time. <laughs> I bet that was my uh, my axe that was floating there was, as well. Yeah. Gave me a fright. You if you run into life. it and I swing, like, do I hit you? Uh, well, it isn't actually swinging. I can just hear it swinging. I can see oh. it hovering. <laughs> That's great. It's like uh, some medieval primal way to tell if I'm actually working or not. <laughs> <laughs> Foreman's there, like, that Steejo hasn't swung his pickaxe in 14 minutes! <laughs> Send out the lashes! Uh, oh, I keep forgetting to pick up flax. That's the entire reason I'm out here. I was just jollying my way over to the stone nodes. Fantastic, I prove. <laughs> One more stone. I've already got 100 nod. Really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the axe going again. Uh, I just started harvesting again. Whenever I get to a stone node, you'll hear the swing. <laughs> yep. Well, at least now I know what it is. Yeah. Because that would have really worried me otherwise. Um. Well, honestly, I need to gather stuff at this point, I think. I think that's... Li literally just going to be what it is so yeah well you can feel free to gather either stone iron yeah, maybe I not oil because it's a freaking mile away no i'm gonna come and gather some stone yeah also we now need to make a way up into our base because it's becoming increasingly hard as i'm adding walls to get in <laughs> also gonna gather that steel as well just make sure that everything is running yeah. At least now you'll be far enough away from my swinging pickaxe that you won't hear it. Well, I don't know. It's following you. It's Our like bond Navi. is quite strong. There we go. Oh, gathering some flax. What did I say I needed? 400? Yeah, something like that. That's an awful lot of flax. Well, where the hell is the king's head out there? Off I go to gather the stone, possibly also the iron. I'm carrying the steel on me, so that if someone does come by our place and is inclined towards the steel Joe way of acquiring materials, <laughs> they can't take all of our precious, precious steel. God. I don't know why anyone plays this game like this. What do you mean? Gathering stuff takes so long! Well, yes it does! Just imagine! You've been just taking away people's stuff that they spent that long gathering. I imagine it was quite disheartening for them. Locking in oh, and being like, ah, oh, my awesome <laughs> base! Where I have Should've gathered have so much base. stuff! <laughs> and then they're like, oh, my, my awesome stuff. Where is it from? Why? Why is That's my stuff gone? pocket. 
You know what's worse than that? What? Having my character be deleted. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of annoying. To be fair. So not only not only have I stolen from someone else, <laughs> yeah. but then the materials of which I have stolen are nowhere left on the server. That is uh, an unfortunate situation, yes. And entirely preventable. You know how. Don't steal stuff in the first place. <laughs> Host the server yourself. Ah, yes. I'm I'm well past the point of trying to convince you to be dapper, Steel, Steel Joe. <laughs> I mean, come on, your name is Steel Joe. Uh, just it's with like, an A instead of an E this time. It's like trying to name a cat dog. It this just is won't a work. Point. No point. Well, actually, so that dark. would be hilariously funny. I think. Ooh. Suddenly. A lot of sound, spaceships. windy sound. Spaceships would have been an interesting thing to have had, <laughs> yes, but uh, no. That was actually a, the corp that my Eve corp mates went and joined after they left ROTN. Mm -hmm. And we stopped playing. They went and joined a corp called Suddenly Spaceships. I'm at the, uh, the Lannisters area right now. Yeah. Quite a nice place. <clears throat> I can hardly see this flax. These Lannisters certainly do know how to build a tower. Mm. I am in the market for some flax if anyone is willing to sell. That's fantastic. I will buy this stuff off you. Stuff that is hopelessly easy to acquire. I am just incredibly lazy. Yeah, but well, I'll get a cheap price for it because it's so easy to get. Mm. It doesn't seem to work that way usually in in game markets. Oh, no. this fog, it's glorious, but I can't see. Yeah, I'm with you there. It's like being on Worm Online. I'm fairly certain I've turned worm. around somewhere. People told me that I should after I've done a series on Life is Fido. Worm is a great game, but you do have to have friends in order to enjoy it properly. Yeah, it's the exact same as Life is Fido, to be fair. I'm looking forward to Life is Fido turning into an MMO. Mm. Ah, server will re be restarting in an hour. Okay, well that is the amount of time that we have left to record then. Perfection. Is this a stone note? Can I mine this? Let me try. Uh, what? Uh, what? Where is my pickaxe? I don't know. Steel Joe. Hey, I've already got one. Yes. You already have a pickaxe. <laughs> I got it before you got yours. <laughs> Steel Joe. <laughs> I love to ha <laughs> Have you Fucking actually got them? No, I don't. <laughs> you swine. God knows what you've done. I've, I've run miles without my bloody pickaxe. Oh, my lord. <laughs> you <sighs> cretin. <laughs> it's one of those days. Just one of those days. There's every possibility that my pickaxe is now like lost somewhere in a sack on the ground. I have no idea. Worst well, comes to worst, I'll just have to make another, but that would be really annoying. Apparently no one was in the market for selling some flax. No, because no one wants to gather it either. Yeah. This is a game about killing people, not gathering resources. Yeah, I would happily kill some people, but I have no armor right now. Hmm. That's nature's way of protecting everyone else, Steel Joe. That's it. You're just too powerful. Oh my lord, you really can see our base from miles away, can't you? I told you. Mind you, it'll be significantly harder to see once we've got walls blocking the light, but... Yeah, that's, that is, it's just the, uh, the light. Yeah. 
I do wish there were more uh, locations where there were nodes, though, rather than having them all in one place. I know that encourages conflict and yeah. you know just interesting interactions between the players. But still, it's like. Eh. Yeah, the iron nodes. Mm. Oil is actually pretty rare because there's not that many nodes. So yeah. you find towards the uh, once the server's been around for a bit, there's a lot of contention over oil nodes. I see. Because that's oh. when people start hitting steel. My and steel stuff. axe is not in the chest either. Ah, oh, oh, that's annoying. I don't know what's happened. I probably dropped it. Remember when I said all those things disappeared? The oh, sacks. Okay. Right, yeah. When you dropped the uh, mm. the iron things. Yep. I imagine that's, that's what happened to it. That's so frustrating. Oh well. Yeah, pickaxes are really expensive to make. I just don't understand where it could have gone. Or how I could have dropped it. The only yeah, thing it could those. be is <clears throat> it's in something's output or something like that. But I doubt it is. Yeah, you can't manually place things into outputs. <coughs> <coughs> ah, stupid frog. Oh man. Right, let's have a look at harvesting tools then. How much is the. Uh, Steel pickaxe, um, 15 ingots, 1.25, uh, sorry, 100 wood. Okay, that's actually completely doable. Yeah, 15 that. isn't as bad as I thought it was. There we go. The only thing you can do is you can swap things around, right. if that makes sense. Like, if you take the output from something and slide it onto your inventory over something else, it'll replace that item and move your the item that it replaced down into the input, if that if you, you follow. Yeah, yeah, I get you. So it's possible that could have happened, but I can't see if it did. I'm murdering a plague villager. I want some diamonds. Why? Because I... Oh, nice. Wooden shot wall. Um, because I don't want to gather flax. I want to take flax. From others. Steel gel. We could make um, some anti-poison potions and go and have a proper route around the plague village. Yeah, could do. Well, be interesting. we could just t take enough food with us that it'll heal us. Yeah, or bandages, but bandages use flax as far as I remember. <laughs> so it's a bit of a uh, dog chasing its own tail situation there then. Yeah, bandages use ten flax and one wool. So unfortunately, spamming out bandages. Actually, if you want bandages, go to the beach. Why? Because there's oh. always fresh spawns that have died and, like, there'll I be bandages. You, I thought you were about to say, because there are always fresh spawns and you can kill them and take their bandages. And I was like, this is not day <laughs> Z, Steel Show. <laughs> we need your beans. Oh, man. Nah, it's too much hassle killing something, uh, killing people in this. Especially fresh spawns, because you, you can just run. <laughs> there's yeah. nothing stopping you. <laughs> Man, these towers of the uh, Lannisters have built are awesome. I mean, really, really quite impressive. Oh wow, someone's actually like blocked off the back entrance to the Plague Village with, well, blocks. That wolf just completely missed me. He'll <laughs> do that. It ran straight past me. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like, it proper missed me. I didn't even realise it was behind me. And then all of a sudden, 
it was racing off down into the water. I was like, where are you going? And then it turned around when it realised I wasn't there anymore. So there was a lot of plague villagers here, and I've killed one, and now they've all went into hiding. Must have realised. No, oh. Stejo is coming. Indeed. The Slayer of our kin. Like he's fleeing the wolf because I've done enough damage to him, which is a shame because I would have butchered him, but oh well. It'd be nice if you could like clear out the plague village and unplagify it. Yeah. Be quite interesting. Was that you down there? Running around the plague village? Nearby, yeah. Yeah, well. I I'm wielding a javelin. Oh, missing plague villagers with them. I will make quite a lot of javelins, I think. Yeah, I made a ton. I've got steel javelins, but those are player killers. <laughs> are they really powerful then? Not particularly. I mean, wooden javelins do the job. They're just... It's nice to have them. Yeah. They do 11 damage, wooden javelins do 8. So, hey, I got three wooden javelins back. There we go. It's dead. Hey, I've got a steel axe. Well done. Like a, a damagey axe. They're not very good. They only do 9 damage as opposed to the 15 that mine does. But it swings faster. I'm not picking up the fangs, the bones, or the fat, but I have got some leather for you. Oh, nice. Whereabouts are you? I'm um, just at the front of the plague village. Yeah, I see. About to throw Porcupine. a javelin over your uh, shoulder. Oh, and over his as well. Oh, I should actually go back and pick up the arrows, because I now have a bow. Well done. Ah. Good point. Perfect. Got a diamond. Well done. Right. And? I need to find these stone nodes. Right. Oh, nice. Right, here you go. Uh, Let me uh, drop these things. There's some meat, oh, there's some leather. Uh, I've got so much stuff in my inventory. There's also some berries. Where'd you get these berries. from? Hmm? Where'd you get these from? What? The, the meat, meat and the leather, leather itself. The wolf. Oh, right, of course. Right, I'm, you can have the berries because my inventory is full, but I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to drop off all of this um, random gubbins that I've got and pick okay. up the arrows that we've got sitting. But okay. I think that will do us for this episode. Indeed. In the next one, I am probably going to be heading out to the stone nose or the iron nose and just working okay. them down for a little while. And, uh, yeah... When we return to base, then, maybe we can actually make some progress on building up the uh, defensible parts of it. Yes. That sounds like a good idea. Hurrah! Well then, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the episode and will be joining us for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care. Bye-bye.